it really feels like that we can never have a disaster free day in gaming right accounts are being deleted left and right community managers are ruining games and for the longest amount of time brothers have always said that hell divers is a very good game brothers always praise it brothers always say that it's a very good non woke game but you see they did not like that everybody yay that really does change today guys get ready for the climax here i've i got a video that i want to show you like the video if you want no woke stuff in your games dislike the video if you want your female characters being biological men get ready for the climax man it's joe over guys roll it video games once you do this Helldivers 2 was seen as a bastion of non-woke gaming, and sadly, it seems there might be some cracks in the armor, so to speak. As just a day ago or so, there has been this huge discussion exploding over community managers of video games. Yeah, to begin, let's look at this article though. from thatparkplace.com titled, Helldivers 2 Community Manager Declares Game is Pretty Woke and Reveals Game Was Banning Individuals She Deemed Bigots, Transphobes, Homophobes, Racists. This started no. when someone tweeted a screenshot of a- Okay, that's cool and all. Go Queen, Strong Independent. But like, are you also banning like heterophobes? as well or or what you're showing another steam curator tool similar to cabrita's rambo sweet baby ink detected which is called is it woke and lists games like among us and hell divers 2 in the list for anyone who's actually oh, played hell divers 2 the game is about as non-woke as it gets at yeah. least on the surface anyway there is no hey, real yo. world symbolism or anything like that it's just a game where you shoot stuff and you level up of course, in response to this tweet, the community manager of Helldivers 2 responded to it with, laughing my ass off, uh oh indeed fellas. <laughs> Yo, what's up? And get ready for the climax, right? But what's up? What's up with these community managers? Devs are like, we're not gonna bend the knee. Community managers be like, bending my knee right now. Helldivers community manager, or CM for short, is Catherine Baskin. No, she's not related to that Baskin, but firstly, do not harass this individual whatsoever. Let's simply look into what's going on and decipher what this tells us about everything. Helldivers yeah. CM then replies with, Plus, Helldivers is pretty woke, dog. Game was made by a lot of LGBT and brown people and black people and women. And it's a big satire of jingoism. It amuses me. They don't know that Super Earth is bad. It also explains a lot about the world at present. This single. How are you a community manager? Like, how are you a community manager? Like, nobody is mad on who makes the game. People just want a good game. That's what gamers want. We just want a good game without woke politics, without any politics, without, without any identity politics in our games. We just want a really good game. It doesn't matter who makes the game though. If, if it's like a straight male, if it's a gamer that makes it, or if it's like a wokey that makes it, nobody cares as long as there are good people and they're good for the job hired them but nowadays and nobody's against diversity people just don't want to have forced diversity in movies tvs and in their games and obviously if you're gonna hire people based on their skin color gender and what they got between their legs and how woke they are right obviously your your product is gonna be <laughs> ultimately bad because you hire people without seeing their actual talent without them being talented and without them being good at the job you hiring people just because like hey <laughs> they got pink hair maybe they got blue hair maybe and, and maybe they're like really really woke to the point where they're where you're like okay we need diversity we need diversity maybe Maybe their astrology signs matches up with your astrology signs so you're like we are made for each other and obviously if you hire people based on that and not the talent then the game's gonna turn out bad but this time if you have wokies working on your game people are liking the game and people are also saying that this game got no woke crap so if you got wokies working at your game and the product is good because devs turn out to be talented and on top you're not pushing like woke ideologies uh, ideologies and you're not like shaming your fan base you're not pushing crap down their throats and you're not like uh, uh, disrespecting your fan base i would say these people okay you know what w right but now it's like community managers comes out and totally just ruining the image well tweet from helldiver cm has sent a schism throughout the community in a way that can only be described as financial death since Helldivers was championed as a game being a bastion for players sick of the real-world politics infesting most corners of video games today. What the CM said there alone is a tweet that will likely cost Arrowhead thousands of dollars in damages. And if they're smart, they'll rectify this before it gets worse. I'm not saying uh, straight up- Uh, can a brother get two pennies or something like that, bro? Fire her, although I'm Bruh. sure many would love that. 
But I think they need to issue a statement showing exactly where they stand when it comes to real-world politics and that of their video games. Yeah. Of course, it's impossible for every single person at Arrowhead to have the same stance on every issue. Yeah. I'm sure there are liberal-minded people on the team, yeah. as there are conservative ones, although let's and, be- And that's, uh, to be honest, that's not a problem, though. You know, you can- we, we actually believe in diversity, we believe in freedom of speech, we do believe in uh, democracy, 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 but there's no democracy nowadays, right? It's just that- you you criticize your your everybody want to play phobic phobic right everybody would be like you're a phobic you're a phobic and you probably heard me say earlier heterophobic as well because they are being heterophobic uh, i personally am brown i'm racially brown i'm not even joking with this one usually i joke around but i'm brown i'm pakistani so i'm 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 brown Bruh. in urdu uh, let me give you proof here you go that's uh, that's my that, that's my proof right now okay <laughs> I, I am really brown, but, but like, damn, so when you guys are gonna be hating on white people, uh, and, and it's like, and who hating on white people? White people hating on white people, like, Bruh. that that don't even make sense right now, bro. Like, it, it's it's absolutely insane, and, and the devs of Helldivers, I, I would like to believe that they are actually good. <laughs> they're just doing their job, you know, they, they want their players to enjoy the game, and they're working on this game, and community manager that's probably not even working, yeah, they're not working at the game, they are just told to sit on their ass, uh, ass and listen to what the fans want, and you know what, make sure you hear from the fans what they want, and transfer that info, and send it over to the devs team, and let the devs know what the fans want, that's their job, and occasionally, yeah, you can go ahead and post maybe like a... Like a dogo photo, that's not a problem. You can post like dogo photos, but it's like, why are you trying to ruin image? What's up with these community managers? And recently, we apparently had this as well, right? This story is truly insane, guys. So, Shauna, uh, uh, apparently community manager at Ubisoft, uh, says a bunch of stuff, right? You can pause and read it, but one thing that I want to point out is that GameSpot says that Ninja says parents should parent their kids, citing that it's not his job to teach kids about racism and white privilege. Yeah, I mean, he's a streamer. He's there to play games, uh, crack jokes, be a, a little bit edgy and read chat, talk with his uh, fan base and just play the game and have a fun time. Shauna says that Ninja is boasting about his white privilege by doing this. He has the potential to influence millions of kids and chooses to be a sack of beans. Use your platform for good. If you have the opportunity, don't do a Ninja. Go Queen. And Queen, I uh, have I have said like a lot of stuff, and Grumps have been like literally going off right now. And right now, the Ubisoft community manager who posted DEI activism has deleted their Twitter account. So how many times we're gonna see like community managers ruin actual good games and gaming studios? Uh, image it's happening like it's literally been happening all uh, all throughout this month bro like, real the conservative insane. ones might have to hide their political ideology because that's how nonsensical the entire industry is and believe me based on my dms i know there's plenty of conservatives who have to keep silent when it comes to making video games yeah which is pathetic as sense, well yeah. not of the yeah. people with those views by the way but the fact these studios and companies are so against that way of thinking this is obviously how echo chambers are created, and I firmly believe if something is made with only one political view in mind, well, that's how you end up with the slop of today. But like I said, if Arrowhead is smart, which I like to think they are, they will address this head-on instead of allowing it to fester like an open wound. Helldiver CM had more to say to another user who said this, uh -oh. didn't they ban people from their Discord for suggesting they add LGBT colored capes? Helldiver CM then said, no, we only ban the bigots, transphobes, homophobes, racists, etc. are not welcome in our community. We had to restrict the topics in the Helldivers 2 general chats for a while because it was triggering massive waves of hate speech which our staff was struggling with emotionally. The Helldiver CM had other Wrong. tweets compiled where she was expressing having problems with concepts like casual and hardcore being tied to video games. When okay, I also don't like the term casual and hardcore because they come with the implication that skill equal passion. Who cares, bro? Who cares? Really, who cares? There are some people that play games casually and other plays like their life depends on it. Right? I mean, whatever. Those words are something gamers cling to, but gamers, they are being rendered meaningless as games become more accessible, inclusive, and experimental. Bruh. When she community manages a video game franchise that is pretty much held together by those very concepts. Other tweets have of hers were resurfaced and compiled by Grums as well, like her doing the usual white savior rhetoric, where white people must shut up and listen when black people are speaking, and things like that. 
She also expresses that she's tired of seeing parent-child relationships in video games, stuff like The Last of Us with Joel and Ellie is a good example of this. She says she doesn't like this trope, not because of its dynamic, but because it's male-centric, and would instead like to see the same concept, but with women only, which is just a mental gymnastics way of saying that Helldiver CM doesn't like seeing men in leading roles within media, and would prefer to see more women instead, because the concept of a parent-child dynamic uh, is fine- Okay, li listen, but what kind of woman though? Like, uh, like, uh, this? <laughs> Let, let me tell you, sweetheart, this is not a woman. This is this is not a woman. This is a man dressed up as a as a female, bro. Like, but what what kind of define a woman? Define a woman. Fine to her as long as it's a woman leading the child and not a man. Which is well, I mean that's obviously a pretty feminist like mentality to have, but it doesn't surprise me sadly. Although what men are wrong, men are misogynist, men are always wrong. This is why I never listen to men. <laughs> But I'm, I'm still Dad's little princess, though. This whole exposure has done will likely cause Arrowhead to lose money in the long run. And Man. they could see many players who catch wind of this abandoning the game outright in defiance. This is why I always say you need to keep your real-world politics out of video games, and the more prevalent social media has become, the worse everything surrounding it has as well. It's sort of yeah. like how before social media existed, people looked at Hollywood actors as these icons, gods even. But once social yeah. media happened, you quickly... Yeah, it's kind of insane, right? Like, that that's true, though. A lot of people do worship, like, celebrities. And it's like, celebrity worshiping is a real thing. I mean, I, I mean, you can be a fan of somebody. That's fine. You can enjoy their work and you can like their, their stuff and you can give them uh, credit and uh, send love their way. But it's like, it's a whole different scenario when you start worshiping somebody, right? Started like to realize that? that a lot of these Hollywood actors are actually dumbasses in real life and don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> Look at Mark Ruffalo, for example. He's a decent enough actor, but uh, the Hulk actor, right? If I'm not mistaken. The more he opens his mouth on things, the less I want to see anything he's attached to. Before, Bruh. you would just enjoy stuff because you didn't know every political belief or intention of the people involved, and I think losing that mystique and secrecy has led to where we are now. For example, okay. I love From Software's games like Elden Ring, Dark Souls, and so on. I think it would be in From Software's best interest to never have their employees or whoever else to express their political leanings or anything in the real world. Yeah, because when there's there's no need for that. That like if is it adding anything to the conversation? Is it like helping gamers out? Is it helping your audience out? Right? No, it, it it's not. It's not. It's not gonna do anything. Uh, 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 it's just gonna hurt your player base and it's gonna divide people. So why? Why? Unless, unless you have a game specifically for that uh, from scratch or perhaps like, let's just say, um, like obviously I'm not against like talk or discussion. You can talk about anything and everything you want, but uh, it, it's uh, it's all about like the audience you have and especially for a game, right? Like the game, the game is not catering to a specific group. Had it been it was, then yeah, surely you can have political message, whether it's like woke stuff, non-woke stuff, whatever, right? It, it's just uh, pe people have a problem, obviously, and absolutely, I understand. People don't like the fact that every every game, every TV show, every movie right now, when I say every, I don't mean like literally every, but it's starting to feel like every right now it's we're really getting to the point where if you see like one small like ounce of a drip of woke in a tv show in a movie everybody loses their marbles i'm not disrespecting those people that loses their marbles i understand i fully understand where you are coming from where those people are coming from because here's the thing though for the longest amount of time we had this crap uh, we didn't have this crap we had this crap in like one or two game one or two movies and people are ah, whatever you know like yeah yeah, yeah whatever but it, it becomes a problem when every game ha is having that every movie is having that uh, having that and a lot of the old franchises uh, established well established franchises and good movies are now getting butchered their story is getting butchered they change they simply change gender. They race swap. They change. One day it's like a white person. The next minute it's a black guy. And it's like a black guy. Black guys go from white. Usually it doesn't happen like that. But I'm just trying to give an example. Uh, that they race swap for no reason. For no reason. You can have a black character that's black. And that's good. You can have a white character that's white. And that's good. Fair. But why change? That sick is race from white to black or from black to white. Usually it doesn't happen from black to white, but this is what they're doing. They're literally dividing the audience. They're literally dividing the fans. And this is what's causing all this debate. So it happened in Hollywood. Gamers are like, ah, whatever, you know, like, games are fine. You know, we'd be playing games and now it's happening in games. So when it's happening in games and these suckers are caring more about what a person have between their legs rather than like, 
the content of the 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 character mm -hmm. like you, you you feel what i'm saying why not have actual content of your character why not have character progression why not have a good solid character regardless of whether they're white black purple brown or or you know what like whatever male female whatever you know why not have good content uh, rather than all this bs so obviously people have uh, people had enough and a lot of people when they see just like little drip of woke in like <laughs> one game everybody loses their mind it's not because it has one little drip of woke it's the accumulation of all the previous stuff that has been going on for a while it's not just this one little drip bruh like it's about like what has happened in the past and all the franchises that have turned woke and all the franchises that have uh been butchered not just the, the movies not just the tv shows and the, the the games i mean it's happening in real life even gillette bud light you know we saw that crap happen too so accumulation of all these things and uh now it's like we're seeing it happen in every which way and these community managers uh, again <laughs> deleting the twitter account uh turning off replies and, and saying crap for for the sake of it whatever they say whether it's pro-liberal or anti-liberal conservative and so on it will just simply divide people and all you end up doing is making a situation where whatever you're selling or making has to now be stained with this otherwise easily avoidable problem yeah, you don't need to yeah. know the politics within the developers heads because that's not important just make it one game that don't it divide people and you'll make tons of money like helldivers has the game has sold over 8 million copies so far and the current stance of that studio up until now anyway was rock solid they rejected any demand for real-world symbolism in their games and just told people to go enjoy the game for what it is and play together. Mm -hmm. And it's like I explained in previous videos, by adding real-world symbolism, you'll just ruin your game and community. If Helldivers allowed real-world flags as capes, you already know the nuclear toxic sludge that would emerge from the in-game fighting. One player has a flag on their back of a certain country, another player has a problem with it, and boom, congrats, you now got players just murking each other over and over again in the game. Yeah, that would also cause, like, some some of that stuff, but not necessarily, because uh, country flags have been around for, for centuries, right? So, like, you could have had, in my mind, like, I'm thinking, like, you can have, like, country flags. I, I know, like, it, it's probably gonna get some people be like, hey, America, number one, China, number one, motherfucker. So, yeah, you're surely gonna have all that, which is, I, I don't find that problematic, right? But if you have woke crap in it, then, obviously, it's gonna, it's gonna rustle some, uh, some feathers. Oh, absolutely. Like I said, guys, it's not just one game or two game. If it, if it's in one or two game, Nobody really cares, though, but it happens to be that it's now coming in every game and every movie. Fun is ruined. And I we're guarantee seeing the agenda. you, because of Helldivers 2's rejection of real-world symbols and politics, that there has been thousands of instances where players who would never associate with one another have played together. Somewhere right now in the Helldivers 2 universe, there is a super Trump conservative guy playing with a trans person, and neither of them have any idea of what the other person thinks. And I think that's kind of great, because it just brings people together and they leave all that other stuff at the doorstep. But what this Helldiver CM has done now, she's basically opened the gates to oblivion itself within uh -oh. Tamriel, and she has created a problem drama, that will drama, not drama, go drama, over drama. well with the community at all. Admitting that Helldivers 2 was always woke is a millions of dollars worth of damaging thing to say. And if Arrowhead is smart, they will rectify that statement and what their CM said immediately. Unfortunately, this problem is not unique. In this situation, like, what would you do? Like, for example, you're the, the, the company head, right? And you're seeing your CM literally, like, do this crap. What would you do if you were in the situation of, like, uh, somebody that's rational and is the, the top head of uh, Helldivers? And basically, you want your game to kill it, right? And do well. What would you do? Would you just stay silent or would you talk about it? and refute and be like nah bro like we do not agree with the cm what would you do i i feel like that if you were to refute and, and if you were to like deny what the cm said that's gonna uh what, what's this called that's gonna cause more awareness on what just happened with the cm and i feel like that then it's like you're gonna be in another issue with the wokies and, and i believe the the entire like esg stuff blackrock and all you know what i mean right di dei sweet baby ink is gonna be like <laughs> how dare you actually deny it? all that so they're gonna get mad and it's like obviously gamers don't care like about them getting mad right like it, it's whatever but 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 you understand where i'm coming from right you understand the the, the point right i, I definitely want to know your take on this one absolutely arrowhead as cms across the board are almost universally always activists at hearts themselves 
This is also why when it comes to layoffs at companies, positions like social media workers or community managers are always in the line of fire because they're not yeah. really game developers themselves. Yeah. They're usually just there as a connection between the player base and the developers. Grums, who did I remind you? Exactly what we were talking about earlier. Like the community manager is managers there to speak with the devs and tell the devs what the the gamers want that's basically why they're there but uh, but nowadays it feels like that the community managers are really like the activists uh rather than the actual games community manager and recently this what went down man microsoft literally went woke they <laughs> literally Bruh. click on this video on the screen but don't worry sony ponies on the left sony also has went woke it's like what are you gonna do about it we have like a very good discussion in both of these videos check these out and i'll check these out and i'll see you right